So here's a question for you. Okay. When do you when do you pull the plug, man? When do you say uh, we need to bug out? Because currently we are right in the path of what's gonna be a hurricane. And so when do you go? Uh, that's a little too much. We need to get out of here. The answer to that is about 20 minutes ago because <laughs> we decided that's what we're doing. <laughs> We are already in tropical storm force winds, yeah. gusts in the 30s and 40s. So at this point, it's not safe to move the RV. No. And with that numbers, I was fine with staying. Yeah, and it was only supposed to be that. It was only supposed to be gusts in the course, 30s and 40s. Mother Nature changes all the time. Yeah, but by the time Mother Nature changes and says <laughs> it's going to be a Category 1 hurricane, you know, and, and people say... Oh, it's just a Category 1. Did you know a Category 1 hurricane is 75 miles to 95 mile an hour winds? That's Category 1. Yeah. So Category 1, just because it sounds like, oh, it's, it's only a, a 1, one. <laughs> it's a big deal. Well, it's, a, it's more of a big deal when you live in an RV. It is. And so uh, if you look up on the Google, <laughs> oh. the Google will tell Google. you that most RVs can handle gusts anywhere from 75 to 100 mile an hour winds so we're on that on that uncomfortable bubble i would say because we're in a bigger fifth wheel we're closer to the 100 yeah but i don't want to risk it and gusts yeah. are going to be up into the 70s and 80s it's all going down overnight <laughs> man and we don't want to be here for it uh we'll show you some of the what the radar looks like right now and it doesn't look that bad right now but it's coming yeah. And it's coming in the middle of the night. And there could be like little spin-off tornadoes. There's always little, like little spin-off stuff that could happen Anything during these could things. Happen. All right, Leslie, getting stuff ready. What you getting? Snacks. <laughs> That's the most important <laughs> thing about bugging out for a hurricane is the snacks. Yeah. yeah. I just started. Oh, ramen for lunch? Yeah. I'm gonna have mini raviolis. Mini raviolis. We got cinnamon bread and carrot peppers. Yeah, we're gonna need more snacks. Well, well I know, I just started. <laughs> Let's see how Scout's doing in this whole fiasco. Scout can see us packing stuff up. He doesn't like it. And he knows when that happens, it's gonna be time to move, and he's not a fan. Well, I got a break in the weather, so I'm gonna come outside while I still can without having to do like the in-storm reporting like I did in Little Rock that one time. But I wanted to talk to you about how this, how this storm is gonna play out. So the way that we're oriented, let me show you. The way we're oriented here, the winds initially when the hurricane comes in are gonna come from this way. So you got all these trees back here and you got all these RVs that it's gonna, the wind's gonna hit them first before it gets to us. So it's not gonna be that bad on the front side. But when that hurricane goes past us and we get that, that back wind, there's not much here. And so we're in this wide open space. So we're the front line of defense where the wind's gonna hit us first before it hits anybody else. That's I guess the snack bag, huh? And we got- Snacks in both laptops and uh, coffee. Gotta have coffee. Laptops and coffee. That's all you need. That's all you really need to ride out a storm. Yeah, of course I have to have mine. And then in mine I have all my headphones and stuff, my mouse, my hard drive, all the stuff. Because I'll still be doing editing and stuff. And then Leslie's got her computer for whatever Leslie Shopping. stuff does. <laughs> and then we'll have like all of our clothes and all of our toiletries and all that stuff. And then there's uh, Scout's portable tank it's like these little panels and they've got little things that click into the edge yeah we'll show you that once we get to leslie's sister's house we'll show you scout's setup we'll show you our setup lunch time captain crunch sleeps today and my bug out berries <laughs> bug out berries <laughs> i didn't feel like making a whole lunch man it's a lot of work you just didn't want to clean up i don't clean up anyway i know <laughs> talking about <laughs> No, this is a good nutritious lunch to bug out yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. Crunch berries. Yeah. It's not breakfast. It's, it's lunch. lunch. <laughs> you act like your lunch is far superior. Mine is. Mine has nutritional value, thank you. I've, it's a slim fast shake. It is filled with vitamins and minerals, thank you. And this is my everyday lunch. Look, 
So are crunch berries. No, no. <laughs> crunch berries are packed. With sugar, corn syrup. The commercial says, a nutritious part of your complete breakfast. <laughs> Whatever. There he goes. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Go see Aunt Letha. Yeah, now, sure. we don't have a checklist for bugging out. We kind of wing that. Yeah. We have a checklist for moving day, but we, we don't have one for bugging out, which we probably should because you want to make sure that you do some important things. Like when I shut the water off, you got to make sure you shut off like your water heaters too. Yeah. Because you don't want... Well, it's kind of like the same checklist of travel day, just we're not putting the stuff away. Yeah. It's pretty much the same list. You don't really got to tie anything down. Yeah, or we're not... You don't got to like... Stowing the water stuff away. Yeah. The you hoses away. Fastening the sliding doors we're doing open the same and stuff. So. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff. But crucial stuff like that, like turning off your water heaters before you go. If you're yes. gone for a couple of days, you don't want your water heaters just... Correct cooking while you're here <laughs> oh there's some wind yeah. oh, there's a wind gust <laughs> yeah all right we better get out of here okay well, i can definitely feel the wind moving us around it would have been a lot worse with the rv hooked up to the truck it would have probably been doable but it wouldn't have been fun at all yeah. not only would it have been like white knuckle trying to hold on to the rv but it would have been very bad gas mileage yeah i brought snacks <laughs> we eat all my hurricane snacks before we even get to your sister's house. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're not a conserver. <laughs> Here's our lovely accommodations. <laughs> Guest room in your sister's house? Yeah. <laughs> this is our room. Yeah. It's actually nice. Yeah. Very nice. A queen size bed and TV. So this is like a portable little plastic walls. It locks into the, into that. Just don't pay any attention to the Bucks rug. That's not ours. It's not ours. <laughs> <laughs> but there's Scout. Yeah, and the storm is picking up speed. Mm -hmm. So it's close to a category one now. Yep. And it's getting closer to the coast. Actually, we moved closer to the coast. But it's, further north. Yeah, we're so north we're not, and a little east. We're not a, actually even in the cone of the, where the eye is going through anymore. Even though we did move closer to the coast, because yeah. it's going to impact a little bit to the south, so yeah. it's going to impact and then kind of go up right through where we where the RV is. I mean, that's yeah. it's going right through there. Yes, Claremont is going to get it. So from here, we're just going to get we're going to get the out outer rains outer bands of it, of the rain, storms, yeah. heavy rain, winds, but we're not going to get that really tight spin. Yeah. Circulation. It's causing those super high gusts. And hopefully we go home and everything looks fine. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> well, we made it through the hurricane and we're not the only ones that made it through the hurricane. There's little ducks back here. Little baby ducks. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can go out here and show you. But um, So where our RV is right now, our RV is currently in the eye of the hurricane. So where the RV is, it's not even raining right now. We got through the first part. We just passed through the eye. And now we're going to start getting the back end of the of the hurricane during the day today. Um, let me show you these little baby ducks. They need that. I need. As soon as I walked out, they walked right up to me like I was going to give them food or something. So I need to get back inside so that they'll go back and take shelter wherever they are. But um, since they did come up, I'll show them to you real fast. Come on. Well, we're just leaving out of Leslie's sister's house and you can see I mean, just little branches and stuff that have come down. You can see some laying out in the street, out in the neighbor's yard, you know, debris all on the sidewalks and stuff. Yeah, but for the most part, not that bad. Um, but this wasn't the worst area. So as we get closer to the RV, uh, we'll keep the camera ready in case we see anything that uh, looks like it took a, a hit from the hurricane and we're headed back to the RV now. We're back. Yep. It's windy still. Still windy. I'm gonna get the slides out and see if anything changed. Um, hang on before we put the slides out. Let me look over here. So it looks like, man, it, almost it kicked them out. <laughs> yeah, it rocked the RV enough to where it almost knocked off 
our Valterra stabilizers, which tells me that the RV was moving pretty yeah, good. Our chocks are way under there. I wonder why just one side. And it knocked over our support for our crapper hose. <laughs> I don't touch crapper hoses without gloves, so <laughs> I'm gonna wait till we get the slides out and then I'll come back out. I'll put some gloves on it. Even though it's it's con it's contained on the ends, it doesn't matter, man. These things get little cracks in them and little leaks in them. And they, uh, no, no, nope. <laughs> no. So I'll do that in a second. Bummer, man. Came out here, put the crapper hose back up on the support, and noticed our crapper cap is snapped off and gone. I got more caps, but. I did like that this one was attached and was just always there, but yeah, I probably should have taken the whole hose down and put that cap back on before we left. I just didn't think about it. Dang. Well, I came out to put the crapper hose back up on the uh, support, but I wanted to show you this first. So behind us is our rig, of course, and then across the street over here is supposed to be a little grassy, uh, like a wildlife conservation area inside the RV park. And it's normally all grass over here, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like after the storm. Yeah, that was, that was all grass before, and now it is completely underwater. Well, we got lakefront view now. <laughs> Hopefully they won't charge us extra for that. Yeah. But it's over. We're yeah. out of it. It's Done. past us. We're on the back side. We got a couple little bands of rain. Still some pretty strong wind out there. Gust up to like yeah. 30, 35. Driving back was, well, you could tell. It was challenging driving it, back. Yeah. This is moving us around Working a bit. the arms today. Yeah. But luckily there wasn't a lot of traffic out. Everybody's yeah, kind of staying out of it and stuff. So anyway, yeah. you know it's over when Disney's back open. That's right. Disney opened back up this afternoon. Yeah. So. Like they, didn't wait, they didn't waste a minute. They're like, oh, we done? Okay. Yeah. So for us, that's it. That's how we ride out the hurricane. Uh, hopefully yeah. you got some good tips out of that. What to do, what not to do. Uh, learn from our mistakes or misfortunes or good decisions sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a smart thing to do. It Just was. Just go spend Get one out. night. Not too bad. Only because of the rocking. Yeah. I didn't fear anything else. No. We're wide open. It's not like a tree was going to fall in the RV or anything. No, I just, it's we just, weren't going to get any sleep. Yeah, that was just, though I would have liked to have known what it was like inside. I would have too. <laughs> just to kind of get an idea of, you know, because I think you, rocky. I think you overreact sometimes when it moves you, you're like, woo. Yeah, was, you're like, that was a good it, gust of wind. Yeah. But like, it feels like a lot when you're in here. I don't think it's that bad out there. Yeah, I don't know. It would have been interesting to know that though. It would be. Anyway. Maybe next time. You stay and I go. And oh, okay. You can yeah, film leave it. me here. <laughs> yeah. For a good cause. Yeah. Filming it. No, I don't no. Know. Okay. No. All right. All right, stick around for a few <laughs> seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. Stay safe from the hurricanes. That's right. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.